As per a report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, United States, China is supplying technology and equipment to Russia, despite Russia's involvement in the Ukraine conflict. The report reveals that China has become Russia's primary trading partner since trade with Western countries was reduced in 2022. State-owned Chinese defense companies are allegedly shipping navigation equipment, jamming technology, the fighter jet parts to Russian government-owned defense entities, with chips being acquired through indirect channels via Hong Kong and mainland China. U.S. Special Counsel Jack Smith has filed new charges against former President Donald Trump in the classified documents case. The accusations pertain to allegations that Trump and his aides asked a staffer to erase camera footage at his Mar-a-Lago resort in 2022, aiming to obstruct the ongoing investigations. Trump now faces three additional counts, including willful retention of national defense information and obstruction charges. Charges were also brought against Trump aide Walt Nota. Meanwhile, a new defendant, Mar-a-Lago maintenance employee Carlo de Oliveira, has been added to the case. Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi, who is on a two-day visit to India, expressed that India is an essential partner in ensuring a free and open Indo-Pacific. He emphasized Tokyo's interest in expanding cooperation with New Delhi in the region. While addressing the India-Japan Forum, Hayashi also highlighted G7 leaders' stance against altering the status quo through force, as stated during the Hiroshima summit. He conveyed Japan's eagerness to collaborate with India for a successful G20 presidency. Laying thrust on Project Tiger, which completed its 50 years recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that it is the result of the pioneering conservation initiative that 70% of the world's tigers are found in India. In a video message to the G20 Environment and Climate Sustainability Ministerial Meeting in Chennai, PM Modi said that Project Lion and Project Dolphin are in the pipeline. Meanwhile, he also emphasized India's climate commitment, stating that India is one of the top five countries in the world in terms of installed renewable energy capacity. Six people lost their lives and 23 others were injured in Syria after a bomb exploded in the Syrian capital Damascus on Thursday night. Reportedly, the blast near the Sayyida Zainab Mausoleum, Syria's most visited Shia pilgrimage site, occurred when a motorcycle was detonated. The Interior Ministry called it a terrorist bombing. The Ministry of Home Affairs informed the Supreme Court that the Central Bureau of Investigation will assume the investigation of the infamous viral video showing two women being paraded naked by a mob in Manipur. The government emphasized a zero-tolerance policy for crimes against women and sought the trial to be conducted outside Manipur.